In this video, I'm going to walk you through comparing two revisions of a file with the Compare tool on the 3D Experience platform. So to get started, I am currently in a dashboard that has the Compare widget on the right, and then I have Bookmark Editor on the left so that I can quickly access uh, my files. So you'll notice that the Compare widget is um, empty. It's just kind of waiting for me to drag and drop content into it, or I can also click open content to uh, open up 3D search. So I'll start by dragging and dropping my sewing machine file. Uh, this is our A2 revision of this file, which is the latest revision. So I'll drag and drop that right into the center of the widget to load it in. Then I'm going to open revisions of this file. This is going to display a list of all of the previous revisions of this file. In this case, we've got the A1 revision, I'll select that and click OK. Now I've got both files selected. At this time, I'm going to double click the top bar of the widget just to make it full screen. Then I'll click Compare. All right, we have loaded in the A1 and A2 revisions of this assembly. So let's take a look around. First of all, you'll notice in the 3D view area, we basically have both revisions of the model are overlaid on top of one another in 3D space so that we can compare um, any geometry changes or if the position of components have changed. Um, if I select the top level assembly here, we can then take a look down at the properties window where we can compare what properties may have been updated uh, between revision A1 and A2. Um, so we can see, of course, the revision as well as the revision comment. We can also quickly see when and by who these changes were made. In the Structure tab, we have some filters that are going to help us navigate uh, through the differences of these files. I want to see exactly what parts were revisioned up from A1 to A2, so I'm going to turn off the identical filters. And what I'm left with are the components and subassemblies that were uh, change from A1 to A2. So in this case, it also is going to filter the 3D view. And we can see that the housing um, had this update made to the vents. Okay, if I select here, I can also see that comment left uh, over here in the properties window. I'm going to switch the filter to show the identical components. And this is going to show me everything that did not change from A1 to A2 of the assembly. So in this case, that'll be all of these internal components are exactly the same in terms of geometry and position. This third filter for position can be turned on to show what components were moved from A1 to A2, but their geometry and their revision were not updated. So, uh, so the blue corresponds to A1 and orange corresponds to A2, so we can see the position of this switch was moved slightly. The Compare tool is a great resource for comparing revisions of a file or separate files entirely. Um, and one final note, this interface can also be customized to meet your needs if you would prefer to view uh, the 3D view in a larger window. Uh, this can kind of be customized and rearranged. And of course, when you are done comparing these files, you can always close out and set the widget back to its starting state uh, by navigating to these three dots in the upper right corner and selecting close all objects. All right, that brings it back to just that empty state. I'll shrink it back down to its original size where then I can have compare and bookmark editor side by side.